Welcome to math with Millie and Ziggy. Yes, and Ziggy. Let's do a quick review on how to isolate x or any letter on one side of the equal sign. Are you ready? I'm always ready. Okay. What's the first thing we do? Well, the first thing we do is we want to get the stinky letter by itself. Correct. And if letter is negative, you got to do a positive letter to make it vanish. Oh, it's magic. But what do you do to the other side? Oh, yeah. What we do to one side, we do to the other. Okay. So once the letter is positive, now you can start the process to get the letter by itself. So what do we do, Ziggy? We got to get rid of the number next to that X. We want that stinky X by itself. So we subtract 0.91 to get rid of the positive 0.91 on that side. So now the letter is by itself. But don't forget, Ziggy, what we do to one side, we do to the other. So we subtract 0.91 from the other side too. Now we get our answer, which is x equals 0 0.09. Yes, so let's sum it up. Ziggy, can you sum up the steps? Okay, Um, if we want to get X and isolate it for the answer, step one, we want to get that stinky letter by itself. And if the letter is negative, we add a positive letter to make it vanish on one side and we add it to the other side. So it's positive. Yes. What's step two? Step two, we, we got to get rid of the number so that that stinky letter is all by itself. So we either add or subtract or divide or multiply, whatever we need to do to get rid of that number. And what we do to one side, we got to do to the other because that's an equal sign. And we are equal. Yes. And what is the last step, Ziggy? The last step, we add, subtract, divide, or multiply, whatever we got to do to the number to find the answer for x. Great. Now that we have the three steps down, we're going to move on to finding x in a fraction. Fra fraction? No, fraction. A fraction is a portion or a part of a whole number. Like... If you had a huge pizza, like one pizza, and it was eight slices, you would put eight over eight because you have eight slices out of the eight slices of pizza. That equals one, right? One pizza. Oh, I'm getting hungry. So let's say you took three slices out of the pizza. So how many pieces did you eat? Three. So yeah, you ate three out of the eight pieces of pizza, right? So three out of eight. So the whole pizza, again, would be eight over eight, but you ate three out of the eight, so that would be three eighths of the pizza that you ate. Mm, that would be good. Okay, so let's look at this equation. And again, we're going to be using a fraction. Fraction, fractions. Okay, six over 100 equals five over W. So do we know what that W is? No, that's why we got to do this problem. Okay, so the 6 over the 100 means that 6 parts out of 100 parts is being used. And on the other side of the equals, uh, the 5 over the W means 5 parts out of something. We don't know what W is yet is equal to that six over 100. See the equal sign? Yes. Can you just cut to the chase? We don't have to explain every little thing. I need a nap. Okay, so uh, I could do that if, if you just wanna cut to the chase. Okay, this is it. Whenever you have fractions with an equal sign between them, you have to crisscross multiply. Crisscross? Like, Crinkle fries? Crinkle fries. I, I have no idea how you even came up with that. No, it's not like crinkle fries. 
I'm just hungry. So crisscross multiplication means you multiply the opposite numbers across the equal sign. So you, in this case, you'd multiply six times the W. Which would be six times W. And on the other side of the equals, you'd put 100 times five. Well, I know what that is. Five times 100 is 500. Good, Ziggy. That's right. So now we, the equation is 6 times W, which we can actually just write as 6W, equals 500. Oh, okay. Now we just go through those three steps to find X. Yes, but in this case, it's W. Oh, that's right. Sorry. Let's go through the steps. So the first step is we want the stinky letter by itself. Right, Ziggy? Yes. So the W is positive. So we can just go straight on to the second step. We got to get rid of the stinky W so it's by itself. But it's multiplied times six. How do we get rid of it? We can't add it or subtract it. Well, the opposite of multiplication is division. Really? Always? Always. For instance, if 2 times 3 is 6, then 6 divided by 3 is 2. Or 6 divided by 2 is 3. Uh, yeah, whatever. Just keep going, please. Okay, so to get rid of the number 6, so the stinky W's by itself, what do we need to do, Ziggy? We got to get rid of that six. So we, huh, we got to, hmm. oh, we got to divide that side by W. Um, close. Okay, we want to divide it by six. That's right. So now we divide six by itself, which equals one. But what we do to one side, we do to the other. So we gotta divide the other side too. Yes. And then the last step to find what X is, or W in this case, we do the equation, okay? So what is the equation? Well, 500 divided by six. 83.3. That is correct, Ziggy. Good job. So we hope you enjoyed this episode and we'll see you next time. We really enjoyed doing math with you. It's time for a nap.